Sonic Grace has just sent me their new S3 Pro. It's a VR head strap for the Quest 3 and it also works for the brand new Quest 3S. Let's open it up and take a look. This is the integrated battery system. And this is a pretty simplified strap solution right here. We got a few pieces and that's all we got in the box. With any of these head straps, the question is always gonna be how easy is it to install and what is the comfort level? So let's install this thing and see how it works. So I've been getting pretty used to this Bobo VR uh, mounting system head strap with the integrated battery here. I like it a lot. Uh, it allows for no light seal. Let's see though how this one works. I think this one you have to use the light seal. Let's put it all together and see what we got. So let's remove this. Now, kind of a slimmer version, I think, of everything. You know what? Let me first compare to the Bobo VR. So this whole head strap with battery 428 grams versus 407 grams. Add on the light seal, you're actually at 484 grams. So pretty close. Now the nice thing is it seems like you'll be able to wear this without the battery, just like with Bobo, uh, but we'll see how it all goes. This strap is not really wanting to go in too easily. Ah, maybe if I just use the right side. Okay, so longer side goes through here. It's a little bit unclear from the instructions, but all right, we're making progress finally. Next up, we're going to install the back pad. Okay, they do a good job idiot proofing this. I had it on upside down uh, and I am an idiot. So there we go, we got it figured out. Okay, snapped in. These, I think will go like this. These lock in. That's a nice secure snap. No question, I got that one right. And you can tell how it aligns with the charging dock there. That's how you know the right side. And here we are aligned with the headphone port. Now all we gotta do is put this through the back side here. Now because there is no kind of forehead mount thing here, we do have to use the facial interface. Finally, this part, I think just magnetically attaches like that. There we go. And we can plug in the USB-C to the bottom and charge from the battery to the headset. So here we go. This is the whole setup. This is what it looks like. Let's put it on and see how it feels. And by the way, you got a little BOA twisting system here to make this bigger or smaller. Feels nice and secure. This feels really nice and comfortable. I want to play around with this for at least an hour to get a feel for how comfortable it really sits on the head once you're playing around with it. Uh, initial thoughts though, it feels like a nice balance of that weight of the battery back on the head there. Nice adjustments I can make really just with the angle of the sides here like normal and then also I can twist this make it tighter and looser and find kind of that sweet spot this feels really nice and I can also of course just at any time unplug and pull off the battery and now it feels super light except I don't have that weight kind of pulling back here to balance out the headset on my head and that's pretty easy to just put it on take it on and off and there we go, we're back. So let me do some hands-on playing around and I'll get right back to you with some final thoughts. As I test this out, one thing I want to uh, mention to those keen eye viewers who might have seen that I would plugged in this battery to itself before, that's not the right way to do it. You gotta have it plugged into the headset. So we got that fixed now. Okay, so trying this out for a while, just good things to say. The balance of this battery behind the head feels really good and natural. 
I was doing some little adjustments you might have noticed, kind of like opening and closing the, the BOA system. And it's just really easy to make these slight adjustments. And it's a pretty standard head strap. Like it does exactly what you expect it to do with a nice battery integrated system. It gives you some extra time to play. And overall, really comfortable. So if you're in the market for a headset that you don't mind about not having really those AR applications using this without the facial interface. Again, because you need to use a facial interface for this to work. It's a really nice package, super slim. You can also adjust, of course, the top strap here. And yeah, overall, super happy with this one. I got a link in the description if you want to grab one for yourself. But otherwise, yeah, I really like this thing. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will answer if I can. All right, thank you.